What's good? Um, album review. Now, this album was basically a leak. You know, uh, Madonna with Iconic, the demos. This is basically demos from her upcoming album next year, Rebel Heart, that's supposed to drop in 2015. This leaked online December 17th. It's 13 unfinished tracks, you know what I mean? But this is what she said about it. She felt like this is artistic rape. They are, these are early leaked demos, half of which won't even make it on my album. The other half have changed and evolved. This is a form of terrorism. What the fuck? Why do people want to destroy artistic process? Why still? Why not give me the opportunity to finish and give you my very best? That is what she was quoted on uh, in an interview. But basically, you could tell that it's not finished. You know, 13 tracks. You got so far features on here. You got Avacy and Nicki Minaj, which neither is really on the album. You know what I mean? But from what I heard, I think this is going to be a great album. I've never really listened to a Madonna song or album like that in my life other than in the 80s when she was rocking with michael jackson and you know that type of shit like that i've seen her videos and shit and know about her legacy but never listened to a project but from what i hear i think uh her rebel heart album will be dope if you actually go on itunes right now and um not purchase it but pre-order it you get six joints so i think six songs so i think that's pretty dope uh, but the songs on here, you know, the first track, Addicted, the one that got away, basically about a failed relationship, uh, can't leave the pain alone, in a reference to what she was saying. Number two, Bitch, I'm Madonna. Basically, it's a EDM pop, crazy-ass hook-type song, you know, having a fun time, living life, party it up. Uh, I think definitely she took shots at Lady Gaga on this. It was rumored that that's what she was talking about. Uh, number three, Borrowed Time. I get that song, Three Checks, you know, the EDM pop synth. Uh, guitar. It's just a powerful song, you know, live life. Uh, she talked about social issues and, you know, things that's going on. Like, we all on borrowed time. Like, we basically going to die one day. So why sit here and bicker over this? Just enjoy life. Um, Heartbreak City. Um, I think it's about her ex. I think his name Guy Richie or something like that. Um, basically, she's broken, up, over, broken heart over somebody that she loved. You know, it's a real deep song. And I think everybody can identify with that. Uh, Illuminati, number five. It's got a catchy hook. It's like a party track, you know, crazy lyrics. I think she actually do a little name dropping in that song, too. Not in a bad way, but the beat was crazy. It's a cool song. Uh, number six, Jonah Arc. It shows she humans and, it well, shows she human and have a human side and words can hurt. That's basically what it's about, like rumors, critics, and everything like that. So I thought that was dope. Number seven, Living for Love, Carry On in quotations. I didn't like that record. Uh, Make the Devil Pray. She reminded me of Lenny Del Rey on that song. You know, she talked about a lot of drugs and, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to make the devil pray. Can you understand that analogy where it's like most people that's in Illuminati, I guess, pray to the devil, but you're going to act so wild that you're going to make the devil pray that you stop? I thought that was dope. Number nine, Messiah. I wasn't feeling it. Uh, number 10, Rebel Heart. EDM 90 sounding. Featuring Avacy, uh, which I don't know if she's actually on the record, but the record was great. The guitar beat, uh, I, I like her lyrics on this. Um, her hook was pretty awesome, and her vocal ability is strong. She still got it to be an old old woman, you know what I'm saying? Number 11, Revolution, I didn't really care for it. Uh, number 12, Unapologetic Bitch, basically a fuck you anthem featuring Nicki Minaj, which is not on the record, but I did see the track list for her upcoming album, Rebel Heart, Nicki is on the album. I thought the beat was dope, you know what I'm saying? Definitely some shit you could play in clubs. Her lyrics is great, her hook is cool, and it's just basically like unapologetic bitch. That's what probably what you think I am. Like, and you gotta respect that. And the last track, Wash All Over Me, featuring Abbasy. It's a great song and great lyrics, you know what I mean? EDM club vibe type record, you know. And if this is anything to hint to what her album gonna sound like next year, I think it's a good look. You know, I'm not a Madonna fan, but, you know, I enjoy good music other than hip-hop and rap. So I definitely feel like if this has anything to do with what her album will sound like, it's definitely worth picking up. You know, just like the YouTube, YouTube album that had dropped, which I still got to go grab, it just shocked me that I can enjoy other music outside of rap. And this is something I can really see that it was pretty dope. Even though I know her MDMA album was garbage, you know, I didn't have to hear it to know it you know i just seen little things here and there she did a tour for it and shit but other than that you still gotta admit she's the queen of pop you know it's nobody that can replace her she was doing this shit for decades and still doing it you know what i mean so i think anybody in the pop world should thrive to want to be like 
her far as longevity, not be like her literally. Like they tried to do a Lady Gaga and the Christina Aguilera's and the, you know, people like that. But overall, I think this little demo leak was pretty dope. You know, I did want to get around to it, but I, it was a toss up between this and something else. So I just said fuck it and, and listen to it. But if y'all heard it or whatever, is y'all a Madonna fan? Do y'all like any of the songs on here? Um, if you're not a Madonna fan, then, you know, you can go search it and Google it and find it and check it out. It's pretty cool, you know, but other than that, drop that off to y'all and I'm going to see y'all. One.